We've all seen that guy that's thin, athletic looking, but he looks pretty old. You're like, this guy looks healthy. He seems to eat well, he exercises a lot, but he's insanely wrinkly and he just looks old. He looks like the Dos Equis guy. But then we have these other people that are a little bit more, let's just say, voluptuous. They're fuller bodied and they look young and youthful. And it begs the question, be like, does losing weight actually help us age better? Okay, it's a really difficult question to answer entirely, but we have some data when we look at things called PARPs, when we look at various mechanisms, uh, sirtuin activation, things like that. So let's dive into this and take a look. Today's video sponsor is Helix. Now, if you're looking for a mattress, I'm gonna save you a bunch of time. This is the one. This is the one that my wife and I now can't live without. Like if we go to a hotel or if we go travel somewhere, even if it's a high quality mattress, we just can't wait to get home and sleep on our own bed. Cool thing about Helix is they deliver it right to your doorstep. You unbox it, it's ready in just a couple of hours by the time it completely inflates and does everything. So if you're looking for some different ways to potentially improve your sleep, this could be a good direction for you. I like it because you take a sleep quiz and it helps find the mattress that works best for you. So then I also have my wife take the quiz and it balances it out and says, okay, between what you want, your preferences and your wife, here's the balance and here's the blend that we go with. So it went with a Midnight Lux in my case. So anyway, definitely recommend you check them out. There's a link down below that'll save you up to $200 off of a mattress plus get you two free pillows. And they also offer a 100 night trials. That way you can try it out, see if it's for you, but also they have a 10 year warranty and totally free shipping, which just sweetens the deal all the more. So go to helixsleep.com slash Delauer and use that link down below. That way you can save up to 200 bucks and also get those two free pillows. So that link is down below. Now let's get to the science. So we have to look at a couple of things when it comes down to longevity, when it comes down to aging, right? There are these things called sirtuins and they're heavily researched and sirtuins are signaling proteins that may have very powerful effects when it comes down to longevity because downstream these signaling proteins signal metabolic shifts that could be very powerful for just I don't know, feeling better and feeling youthful, right? One of the things that they potentially do is, at least in mice, they've demonstrated to activate what is called FOXO1. Now in humans, FOXO3 is heavily, heavily researched in the world of being a powerful antioxidant defender, but also very powerful at improving the metabolism, especially when it comes down to longevity. Okay. Now, additionally, sirtuins can activate what is called PGC1 alpha. Now, again, in mice, but easily translated into humans, we just don't have the exact data to look at, right? So in mice, it improves mitochondrial biogenesis making it so the mitochondria is more efficient at utilizing fuel. But what does this have to do with weight loss? Well, there was one study that was published in the journal Hepatology. Okay, it demonstrated that when subjects went through gastric banding surgery, when they went through like a gastric bypass and they put a lap band on them, okay, when they did that, they found after they lost weight, they had an increase in sirtuin activation. This is very important because a lot of times when you look at studies, like there was one that was published in the journal Endocrinology and Metabolism, demonstrated that obese people had lower levels of sirtuin-1, sirtuin-3, and sirtuin-7, which are probably some of the more researched sirtuins. Okay, so when we're overweight, we tend to have a lower level of sirtuins. And when we lose weight, they seem to be a little bit higher. So if you're looking at sirtuins, as really one of the pinnacles for longevity and youth, then yes, we could potentially say that losing weight allows these sirtuins to be activated more. But there's a bigger piece that I really wanna focus on. Okay, it's something called NAMPT. Now, NAMPT is very imperative for what is called NAD. NAD is nicotinamide adenide dinucleotide. Now, NAD is like a fuel that our cells need. If we didn't have NAD, we would be just dead within 10, 15, 20 seconds. Like almost all our cells need it for instant fuel. Okay, it's involved in metabolism of different fuels. Anyway, long story short, NAD is very, very important for longevity. Okay, NAD activates sirtuins. Okay, so when we are, for example, fasting or in caloric restriction, we have more NAD available because what NAD normally does is it helps carry fuel into the mitochondria. Now, when it does this, it becomes bound up and not used, not able to be used, okay? It can't do other things because it's tied up in metabolism. But when we're not eating, for example, when we're fasting or anything like that, we have more NAD available. 
and this NAD can then go and potentially activate sirtuins, which can potentially activate pro-longevity genes and things like that. So where does this NAMPT come into mind? Well, again, the same study was published in the journal Endocrinology and Metabolism demonstrated that in obese subjects, NAMPT was very low. Now, NAMPT is required to form NAD. So if we don't have NAMPT, or we have low levels of NAMPT, we have lower levels of NAD. So it's a which came first, the chicken or the egg in an obese person, right? Low levels in AMPT means low levels of NAD, which means lower sirtuin activation, which means less FOXO3 or potentially FOXO3, less PGC1A, less just youthful metabolic improvement, right? And potential repair. What's interesting about this study is they had subjects go through a 12-month aggressive weight loss. At the end of the 12 months, they saw improvements in sirtuin activity. But one of the things that I was excited about the most is they saw an increase in NAMPT. So when subjects lost weight, they had more NAMPT, which means more potential NAD, which means more sirtuin activation, which explains why their sirtuins were activated more. So this gets me really excited because this does show that from a biological age perspective, someone that goes through a serious amount of weight loss or even just a little amount of weight loss, we could see an improvement in sirtuin activation. And we can elucidate from a lot of the rodent studies and yes, some of these human studies like this Journal of Clinical Endocrinology Metabolism study that they do play a role in terms of how we feel and just longevity in general. So although it's a little bit complex, it definitely makes sense that someone that is allowing their body the ability to have more NAD, well, that allows them to activate all this you know, labyrinth and cascade of different things that affect how we feel. So then why is someone that is super athletic and super fit sometimes look older? I mean, I guess I should address that since I opened the video like that. A lot of times that just comes down to an oxidative stress kind of thing. Okay, someone that is running their body into the ground as an athlete or doing a lot of running as they get older, that doesn't always mean that they're going to look youthful, right? That puts a lot of stress on the body. That's oxidative stress, oxidative damage. And we also have to remember that as we get older, as we have that occur, we have something called PARPs. Okay, PARPs protect the DNA from mutation from oxidative damage, from things like that. Well, those PARPs, guess what? They require NAD as well, okay? So there's a balance. If you intensely push yourself and you're exercising so much to an extreme that you're actually causing stress, then some of that NAD has to come in to protect the cell, protect the DNA, okay? Whereas in someone that is really getting just the right amount, then that NAD is able to activate sirtuins rather than activate PARPs. So there's a balance there. Bottom line is yes, the science does seem to demonstrate that losing weight can have a positive effect on aging. I'll see you tomorrow.